Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be talking to you guys all about the soft cup again. And you guys love the V-Talk videos because you love to talk about your vagina um, with me. I know y'all love talking about vaginas. That's probably like one of my most popular videos on my channel is me talking about my vagina. It's because nobody else wants to. It's like nobody else wants to sit around and talk about their vagina. But I love reproductive health. I think it's like so interesting. Um, even in like biology when I was in college, that was my favorite class because we talked about reproductive health and nobody ever like opens up about it. Like nobody ever like has open conversations about like your sexual organs besides obviously sex and when and when you shouldn't have it. Besides all of that, I just like to know what's going on down there. And I'm sure a lot of you do too. So um, these are really just a way for me to tell you guys about the products that I like to use to keep myself in the best health possible down there. Because Flo does not play with me. I'm sure she doesn't play with you either. You guys know I made a video about this product um, a year, no, two years ago, talking all about menstrual cups and why I ditched my tampons and pads. And the reason I did so is because I don't like sitting my own mess, number one. Number two, I also don't like sticking stuff in my vagina that is going to irritate me or make me feel uncomfortable throughout the day so that is why I switched over to menstrual cups the menstrual cup in particular that I'm going to be talking about in this video is just the soft cup I did mention in the last video that I made um, that I tried the diva cup and I talked about the diva cup as well as the soft cup uh, I don't like the diva cup I tried the diva cup about two more times after I made that video did not like the diva cup um, it was really hard to get it out so I, I don't like that one. I definitely don't recommend it. Um, just because I didn't I didn't like it personally. I was not a fan. I prefer the cup. So that is the one I'm gonna be talking about in this video, giving you guys an update on everything that I've learned in my journey and what I like about it and why I still use them and my experiences, good, bad, ugly. So you guys will know what to do and what not to do. Uh, like I've said in previous videos before, I'm not a doctor, I am not gynecologist I don't necessarily know everything I'm just giving you guys my experiences and what I've done with my own research I'm not really gonna explain too much what the product is and how it works because I did that in the previous video if you guys want to see that video click up here in the card section so pause this video if you have never heard of soft cup before pause this video come back after you watch that one. this video is for my people who have watched that video you're still not sure about it or you just want to know my experiences and if your experience was normal like mine was. The soft cup is my current favorite menstrual catcher. Ugh. It is the most comfortable. It is the most convenient for me. I don't have to worry about changing it throughout the day. I don't typically have any issues with the cup itself. For the first time, I did mention that the soft cup was like a bloody murder scene trying to take it out. Since then, I haven't really had that problem. And in fact, I've been able to get it in and out pretty quickly. I think what you need to do is if you're going to use this product, practice with it. Maybe try using one without being on your period first so that you know what you're dealing with and you don't feel like it's gonna be a hot mess when you get it in there you know what I'm saying because you you're more likely to freak out on your period okay so if you're not on it then you might be a little more relaxed and be able to practice taking it in and out I still do prefer to take it out in the shower it's just easier for me to deal with the fact that I got blood on my finger if I'm in the shower I would never advise that you take this out in a public place unless you are just a G like that and you can clean your finger and stuff in a stall in the bathroom or it's a one of those bathrooms that is like a you know family restroom or something where you can waddle yourself over to the sink and rinse your finger off and stuff immediately afterward I would not take this out in a public place you can leave it in for up to 12 hours so just keep that in mind when you are going about your day put it in in the morning when you're at home when you get home again, take it out. But I would only recommend doing that at home just because you're more comfortable and you're more likely to not make a mess and embarrass yourself if you take it out at home, okay? Um, let me debunk some myths for y'all. Number one, this cannot get lost in your body. You have to be very, very calm and relaxed when you're trying to take this out, okay? Do not stress because when you stress, you tense up. But just remember that your vagina is not that long. It's only about the length of your index finger. Typically, I just reach back and grip the edge of the cup underneath it. This, The cup will be situated like this. You're just gonna go into your vagina and you're going to pull it down and slide it out. Now, if you have fingernails like I do, it may be a little hard to grip under here. That's why I prefer to do the shower because I can put my leg up, then I'll just go in with my finger, my index finger and my thumb, and I'll just go in and grab it and pull it out. 
at the end of the day, it's never that full to where it's like full, full. You know what I mean? It's it's like all caught in here and this is still flat like this. Cause this is how far it can go down, okay? It's never that full. I don't experience like any leaking other than when I do go to the bathroom and I'm pooping. And that is because you're pushing down on your pelvic walls or whatever. It's gonna move the cup a little bit. So that is why you experience leaking when you go to the bathroom. If I do see blood coming out when I'm peeing, that means I can go to the bathroom enough that day. Uh, because you are supposed to poop twice a day and pee at least three times a day if you drink enough water. The only time I've ever experienced leaking was the odd random occasion in which I ended up being on my period and getting stuck at the airport. And I will never do this again and this is why I'm telling you this because I advise you not to do this as well. I put the cup in in the morning. We had a flight that was supposed to be around like noon or one o'clock, something like that. We got stuck in the airport uh, until like 6 p.m. We were like delayed and delayed and delayed and we were waiting on our flight. I noticed that I was feeling a little bit like gushy and I'm like, ooh. It felt like a little bit of pee came out, so I was like, oh crap. So I went to the bathroom and I did leak. I mummified my underwear, uh, like I wrapped tissue around. And then I went to get some pads and then I went back to the bathroom, put the pad on. It was just a hot mess, okay? But the reason why I leaked was because I hadn't been to the bathroom all day because I didn't really eat anything when I was at the airport. Um, we were at the airport for a good six or seven hours and I had put it in earlier that morning. So I hadn't taken the cup out. I hadn't, you know, pooped or peed all day. And so it was just kind of resting in there and got too full and I leaked. I don't recommend ever doing that. Throughout the day, when you have the cup in, I would recommend, even if you don't really have to go to the bathroom that bad, just go anyway. Go to the bathroom every couple hours or so. Try to squeeze out some of the excess. If you know you're on a heavy flow that day, just try to squeeze out some of the extra. So empty the cup a little bit so that it doesn't run over just in case. But I typically, like I said, I typically don't have problems with it leaking. I did want to update you guys on using it um, when uh, your playtime. I don't know if you guys watched my vlogs from when I went to Singapore. I did end up getting my period while I was on vacation. What I can say is this cup saved my anniversary trip. When you're on your period, you probably don't want to be bothered. Um, you know, you probably don't want to be frisky. I get it. I totally get it. And some people think that it's not even right for you to have sex on your period. I totally get that too. I mean, I'm not recommending it. I'm not saying that you should. But in case you want to, I've, I've had a lot of people tell me that they're scared they're gonna get their period on their honeymoon. And I know a lot of people that this has happened to. I was one of them. I got my period on my honeymoon as well. So I understand and I wish that I knew about this cup. If you will be going on your honeymoon or something like that and you know that you're gonna be on your period or you feel like it's coming, take one of these with you. I promise it will change your life. So I think what really needs to happen is that you just need to have a conversation about what's going on. Don't try to like sneak up on and be like, ooh, just kidding, I'm on my period. No, don't do that. Make sure you guys have an understanding. All right, you don't experience the mess. I, I don't really have any problems with leaking or anything like that. If anything, there's like a little bit of something, something. So just make sure you use a towel. But other than that, I don't experience leaking or anything like that when I'm using this. It does feel a little bit weird, but it's not in the way to where it prohibits anything from happening. So I did have some virgins asking me, if you are a virgin, can you use a menstrual cup? Uh, I was not a virgin when I tried this, so I can't really say how it'll feel for you. I do believe that virgins can use these. I don't see why you wouldn't. You're not having sex when you're putting this in. So it's not like you're gonna lose your virginity if you put this in, right? It's not gonna break your hymen. You can break your hymen riding a bicycle, doing normal things. Using a menstrual cup is not gonna take your virginity, I promise. If you were worried about that, that's not the case. I think you can use these. But yeah, I don't have anything else to say. I think I covered everything. If I didn't, and you guys had any questions still about this soft cup, let me know. Like I said, this sock cup has been a life changer, a game changer for me. I don't use anything else on my period. Um, and I've noticed that since I've been using it, my periods are shorter, my cramps are not as bad, and I feel more free. I can work out, which I do recommend that you work out on your period because that really helps with cramps. Do karate, you can have sex, you can chill and just live free, you know, and not have to worry about anything poking you or annoying you. That's best friend right there. Soft cup is best friend. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and it was helpful to you. In my next VTalk video, we're going to be talking about our booty. I know I can't be the only one 
who um, has booty problems. And I'll talk more about it in that video, but um, if you are a waxer, you probably know what I'm talking about. So we're getting ready for summer, so we gotta get our booty right and tight, okay? So I'm gonna be talking about that in the next video, so stay tuned. I'll see you guys. Bye!